He's had enough for today. Come on. Let's go find some boars. I wanted to use the brand that I I wasn't sure if it had been the malt or a simple lack of attention, but it didn't matter. The jailer's carelessness would be his misfortune and my opportunity. Whilst my cellmates fell prey to the torment of our captors, I would slip free. The only obstacle between me and the long-forgotten sensation of sunlight on my skin was the darkness of the tower. An unnatural, ceaseless darkness that only served to further claim the minds of all who remained imprisoned here. <coughs> A nearby torch allowed me to assess my wounds. My wrists, raw from years of shackled mistreatment, itched as I surveyed the black, stony corridor ahead of me. The guards had left to find solace in whichever poor wench would let them. I, however, would find solace in the fact that they were no longer around to prevent my escape. stepping into that first corridor as if it were only an hour ago. The damp, cold walls of that demented stone brushed against me as I felt my way through the choking darkness. A darkness that the devil himself feared. This darkness is unholy. Oh, thank God. Light. Reaching that first torch seemed like my entire body was pulled from the cold. I would rest here, if only for a little while, before venturing any further. I stood from the straw and ventured onward. I can recall resting for some time, but I'll tell you what happened next.
Is that food that open like a bloody melon? <laughs> the guards were always yeah, giving plenty of ale and rich, hearty meals. So anyway, well, never in a direct right. way. Yeah. The torture and starving well, the There was a guard well, station up ahead. I also want chicken. I could have taken it from where I was hidden in the shadows. Yeah. If I was going anyway, to continue, right. I got my I sword food. and I put it against the guy's throat. I needed it. And then I slid it there. really slowly like that. Come on, come on! Who the bloody hell's that? Oh, someone's got me! Get him off me! Stab him! He screamed and faded into the darkness. The sword rattled on its hilt as the man I had restrained reached for his lifeline. I squeezed my arm tighter to his throat. His breathing faltered. In desperation, he began to elbow me feebly in the ribs. His strength was fading. I snapped his neck quickly. He burbled to the table. Silence. I had killed him. Then I ate. Fruit, chicken, potatoes, bread. I didn't think about what I had done. I was surviving. Looking up as I entered the cavern, I saw sunlight. My god, it was beautiful. The silver pool nearby glistened as I resisted the urge to drink from it. A death from cholera would be just as painful as a jailer's sword. A curious, glowing plant shimmered next to the pool's bank. I picked it, assuming it should come in useful later. Another torch lit, another chance to rest. My run-in with the guards was careless, but necessary. I couldn't always count on finding a bound of shadow. Sooner or later, I'd need a weapon. Shall I continue my tale? A curious, glowing plant shimmered next to the pool's bank. I picked it, assuming it should come in useful later. As I braced to enter with more darkness, I recalled to mind simpler, happier times.